Welcome back to Average Bow. Today I'm gonna be doing some interior work on my 1981 F-150. I've got my kick panels, uh, door panels here. If you can see, they're supposed to be blue and that flat black color is actually SEM texture coating, which works very good if you're uh, it worked good for me for my interior pieces some of them had like sun faded real bad and i put some of that over it and it kind of gives a little of the texture back uh here's one that i've already wet sanded if you can see got these edges smooth i try to chip off everything that'll come off i actually spray it with a high pressure hose to try to get it to chip and wherever it chips i sand it off to make it smooth so it don't chip no more before I paint it. I've got that. Uh, a couple of the trim pieces around the window. They didn't really need the texture coating. So uh, we're gonna do that. I'll show you how to wet sand this one and to spray it off to get whatever chunks is on there. And uh, cause it can be really aggressive for texture coating if you don't sand it down before you paint it. So uh, we'll get into that. Okay, got the interior panel here and my little setup. It's a dog cage. If you ain't got a dog cage, this is the perp. It's just what I got. So, spray some of this stuff on it, like so. A little over here. Here, 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 here. here. We're gonna take our trusty rag. And we see that it's way too rough for us. So, it's more of this on it. Get our sandpaper wet. And just sandpaper, uh, wet sand it kind of like you do a car. You see these pieces flake up. Some special attention to those to smooth it out. So it won't come out no more. Okay, I almost got it. I switched from the this pad paper to the sponge, and this is 400 grit, because I'm not trying to remove a bunch of it. Just trying to knock down some of the high side and give the new paint something to adhere to. Alright, this is the part I was talking about sprayed up with some High pressure, if you can look over here, my also little pieces chunking off. I'm gonna put this on and I'm gonna try to blow off anything that will chunk. You see it coming off there? That's okay, because that's what I want. I better do it right now then. Cause all that's gonna come off if you uh, All right, now we'll sand these edges and feather them in where it's chunked up. That way you won't see no rough edges when we paint it. And you don't have to worry about the part that was going to flake off to start with. So hard spots, wet sanded down. Off there. And we're just going to spray it down a little bit. Oh, the dust. All that good stuff. We're going to clean this one more time before we paint it with the purple power. Just remove any grease or oils from our hands or whatever before we paint it. Spray that off and then we'll hang it up and let it dry. Here's another video to show what I'm doing to the insides. I've got it all took out. The 
door panel, kick panels. I had to put a new windshield. I just had the truck painted. Uh, I'm going to be painting all the dashboard blue. Somebody had changed it from black, brown to black at one point. So I done that. This is something I really wanted to show because I'm not spending $500 on a dash pad. And this is the overlay, which is just a fraction of the cost. I got it black, the cheapest one, and uh, painted it. I'm probably gonna freshen it up with paint too before I put it back in there. And also got these bad boys. Finally found them. And they are mint. I mean, there's not a place on them. So I can't wait to put those back in. It came with the, the burl wood, I think it's called, something like that. All right, I've started spraying some of the trim pieces. Uh, they're turning out pretty good. They're not perfect. They still have some places on them, but I'm not really making a show truck, so they're going to work for me. I'll turn it around here and I'll show you. See, they look way better than they did. There's still some little grooves and stuff, especially on that one. So I may work on that one some, sand it down some more. But so far it's looking really good. I use this vinyl and fabric paint. And it sticks really good and works good. I had one piece that was cracked and I used JB Weld on the back to fix it and it's, solid, it's more solid than the original piece. We have the dash pad painted. Getting ready to start on the first door panel to get it painted. Those are still looking good. Okay, I've got one good coat on there. I don't know if you can see right there, there's like a little place on it couple here and there but from what it looked like to start with it looks like a new panel and I still like the coat. Alright guys check her out. Got the dashboard painted blue. I think it turned out great. I still gotta clean the floor mat. I still gotta put my vents back in. I mean it's not a Sure, a lot of people could do better, but for me, it is absolutely perfect.